Greetings, greetings, greetings. We are getting ready to do a request that, uh, from IG when I asked who wants a free reading and I had uh, Virgo, Aries, and Sagittarius uh, respond with their sign so they get this free reading on love and money. If you are a Virgo, Aries, and Sagittarius, so that is Earth and Fire, baby. Woo! This is going to be hot on your love and money. Cannot wait to get this loaded for y'all. I'm going to do it together because it's fire and earth, right? Wow. Earth, the fire in the earth, right? That's our passion. That's our earth, our heart around our bodies, right? The heart in the earth, the same letters like I've told y'all before. So that is a great, those three ladies that responded off of my IG, thank you for responding. Thank you. So I get to do this lovely reading for you all. Thank you. Awesome. So we're going to do this up live and personal for y'all and see what y'all reading is about on your love and money for this fire and earth sign, which is Virgo, Aries, and Sagittarius, baby. We coming in hot. We coming in hot. Shoot. Love and money. Spirit source energy. Give us a reading for, ooh, let's see. Coming in, King of Pentacles. Ooh, King of Cups. Somebody got their emotions all, oh Lord, uh oh. Somebody had broken heart, but you come in with the Ace of Cups, my dear. So it's still looking good. Spirit source energy, love and money for Virgo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Love and money, spirit source energy, love and money for our Virgo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Oh Lord, here they go. Don't need damn cards again. God damn it. Oh, death. Y'all got some transformations to do. Spirit sword. Oh. Six of Pentacles in at the heart of the matter. Mm. Spirit source energy. Spirit source energy. Spirit. Oh, my girl. The Queen of Cups, baby. That's one of my, my little red-headed twins, baby. One of my little red-headed twins. Spirit source energy. Oh, I'm going to let those fall. Oh, God. Oh, I didn't want to let those fall because there's a lot. Y'all must got a lot going on. Oh, the Empress is in the freaking building, baby. Y'all are about to prosper. I already know when she come in there, she come in to clean the motherfucker up. Okay, so she can get some fertility, some abundance, and some success coming in, baby. So she, little redhead girl ain't playing. That's my little girl. Let's see what we got. Okay, we got an Ace of Pentacle as our underling. So that's good. You got a fresh start if you're single. You have five of cups here, page of pinnacle here. These are my extra cards. I'll use them toward the end. Ten of swords, up, oh, ten of cups, that happy home, and that damn magician, baby, working that fucking magic, and a four of cups. So we'll use those, oh, we'll use those on the end. So if you record, if you saw the post, I said, who wants a free reading? Blah, blah, blah. I think I said on love and money. And only a few people put their sign. I said, drop your sign below. And whoever dropped their sign below, I will give a free reading. Three sisters. I think it was three sisters from my Instagram page. were the only one to freaking answer. My own Facebook page did not fucking answer. Sorry. 900 fucking people. Ugh, y'all make me sick. You know, <sighs> I hate people trying to be all sedated like they don't look at their fucking horoscopes. Y'all know damn well y'all looking at them fucking horoscopes. Y'all is not fooling me. Because you don't even know what's going on in your ass trying to fucking find the fuck out. But that's all right. Today, I am doing Virgo, Aries, and Sagittarius on their love and money, baby. And when they hit the jackpot, don't fucking get jealous at their asses. Because you should have dropped your motherfucking sign down fucking below. I'll be like, she be fucking going off. I'll be playing with y'all, but still, I'll be going the fuck off with it. That's right, because that's me, your girl. Okay. King of Pentacles. King of... King, oh, hold on, let me turn my iPad off because I'm charging it. That's why I had to use my phone. King of Pentacles... 
The king of pinnacles is your power, security, control. He's sitting up here like, I got my pinnacle, baby. What the fuck you want? I got this. This is Rick A. Suave, number two, three. See him looking up there? Look at him. Cross his motherfucking leg. Like, shit, I got it. I don't give a fuck. These are these old cats that sit like that. Y'all notice that? When they fucking cool and on they pimp motherfucking game, baby, they will cross them legs and be like fucking chill on your ass. I used to know some brothers like that and they will cross that motherfucking leg like, what? <laughs> so your king is uh, probably in finance. Uh, uh, that's your overall energy um, coming in about stability, financial stability in the workplace, material possessions. And as you can see, his motherfucking material possessions mean a lot to his motherfucking ass, wouldn't it? Yeah. Now, your under all is your ace of pinnacles. New start, fresh new start if you're single, new opportunities, new, it could be a promotion uh, coming in that's going to set you up for, we said love and money, for your business to take off or you to have a, a deal with somebody that's going to prosper you because of this ace of pinnacle being underneath this damn king of pinnacles that's so fucking cool that whatever what the fuck ever okay so king of cups this baby ricky suave number two three got it motherfucking going on look at him he's so look what i got every fucking emotion you could think of which one you want baby boy baby girl hmm which one <laughs> so you are definitely coming in with that uh emotional uh stability right that control you know you got your emotions like in check you've matured okay this is a king so kings are more mature than your knights and your pages okay pages and knights Still got them growing to do sometimes. They can be a little immature, okay? And they move fucking fast, okay? They move really fucking fast. King fucking takes his goddamn time because he know he controlling the motherfucking weather. That's all I'm saying. So now you got the Ace of Cups, meaning you're coming in with those new, what, opportunities, new uh, beginnings, new love because emotions, right? Emotions, intuition, uh, energy, and your passion. So with your Ace of Cups coming in, you have a lot of emotion. You have a lot of love coming in. So y'all are going to have love coming in, okay? And if I'm reading this for you or your person, you're on the right, your person's on the left. I mean, you're on the left, your person's on the right. Swap this bitch how you want to. In the middle is your heart of the matter, right? And your mutual interest. Okay, now between the King of Cups and your Ace of Cups sits this broken fucking heart that you're going to have to fucking work on to get all this other good shit to come in. And I can't get no simple than that. Y'all dealing with broken hearts. Your Aries, your, Vir your, your Aries, your Virgo, your Sagittarius, you're dealing with a broken heart. So you're going to have to fucking fix it. You're going to have to mend it, right? So you can get all this coming in because what it's doing is it stopping you from moving forward? It's stopping you from finding that love, that soulmate, that twin flame from coming in or your pinnacles, your money from coming in. I don't want that to happen for y'all. So get the fuck over it. I'm just ruthless, okay? Can't help it. So now that brings you to after King of Cups come in with his emotions, stability, you, you go through this transformation because of this broken heart, you open up. Then you get this transformation because you're like, damn, I like this motherfucker. Or, God, she fucking bad. I should have just, why didn't the fuck I just do this at first? So now you're guessing like, okay, this, uh, this change is coming in. Y'all got no fucking control over it. Now you fucking see the light. The person that you may have already came into your life, you see yourself like, God, I should have fucking jumped on that. I wonder if I got a chance now. Or... You're finna go through that change with this new person because you got this new love coming in with this Ace of Cups. So a lot of you, you could be dealing with old and you could be dealing with new coming in. Okay, if you're Aries, Sagittarius, and Virgo. Now, 
with that queen of cups, you being that person, you're going to be fucking dividing the fucking words, the actions, the deeds, the communication of this motherfucker. And if this motherfucker don't add up, you like whoosh, off with your fucking head because you're lying and I'm not fucking having it. Bitch, I'm the fucking queen of the fucking sword around here. Oh, communication is key, people. Communication is key. Don't think it ain't, baby. Don't think it ain't. Now, the Six of Pentacles coming in, you're generous. You're looking for that. The heart of the matter is you're looking for that even mutual exchange. If you're giving emotionally, you want that person to give emotionally. If you're if you're invested communicative wise, like communication wise, you want that person to talk. You don't want that person to shut down. You want that person to talk too, right? You want to express your emotions, your feelings. You want to have fun. You want to laugh. Everything you want to be reciprocated in the relationship, which sits at the heart of the matter and is just damn below the fucking broken heart. So you've learned and now you know with this broken heart, I got to be careful. I just can't open myself up like that no more. I got to make sure... The shit is what the fuck the shit is. Y'all is on fucking point. <laughs> I'm having some fucking fun with this reading. Because y'all shit is out there. For real. Heal that broken heart, baby. So this love and money can just pour in. Right? So that's what's coming in. Now, on the King of Cups and the Death card comes the Nine of Cups. Meaning you fucking emotionally, you emotionally, you fucking get it now. You goddamn get it. I can't be no asshole. I can't be bitching and griping, right? Because that's not going to get me anywhere. I need to communicate and work together and let my emotions and my my thoughts and my um, conversation and my actions be known, right? So you've mostly matured. Now you're holding up your cup like, fuck, I got this finally. I'm grown. I can move on. I can get the love that I want. This is in the future, right? Pending you do all of this. Okay. Now, Empress Baby sets up in the building and be like, uh-huh. Let me give you a little fertility lesson. Let me stir your energy. I'm coming in here with the control of over everything and I'm being fruitful and I'm multiplying and I'm like stirring the passion and the love and and all this inside of you, this abundance and this 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 feminine energy just spreading it around. So be careful, you might get pregnant. <laughs> So if you don't want to be pregnant because she represents fertility, right? The fertility goddess or the fertility empress or about Mother Earth being resourceful, you could get a baby or pregnant, right? So if you don't want it, baby, I got to warn you, use some protection. She's right under the Ace of Cups, the Queen of Swords, and bam, there's the empress. Now, y'all get the victory because under the broken heart, under you being weighing your... Um, when your relationships, you figure out like, oh, I got this after emotionally ma mature and Empress comes in, then fuck, I got the victory. I know what to choose now. I fucking know what the fuck I really want now, right? So now you're like, okay, I got this. I already know what I want. That's why my ass is the big, bad, red-headed queen of fucking swords up in this bitch. Because every fucking little word action is going by the sword, motherfucker. It's going through the goddamn sword first. And you, if you ain't about truth, Zorro in this bitch, Mrs. fucking Zorro is coming in, baby. Coming in, swinging, cutting shit down that don't fucking belong and don't make no fucking sense. Ooh, I love y'all. Aries, Virgo, Sagittarius, y'all ass is on it, okay? Y'all fucking own it, okay? That's all I'm saying. Now, now, after that happens, uh, so your love and your, your love and your, uh, money, I mean, it's looking good with the, the Ace of Pentacle underneath, but with the, the Ace of Pentacle, you gotta get through the love, because the love is what's going to create that abundance, okay? So get through the love part. And once you get through this love part, the Ace of Pentacles is going to come into play, right? It's under there waiting. It's like buried in the dirt, waiting for the sun, the love from the sun beaming on fucking top. So then it sprouts up when you mature like you're supposed to in this Nine of Cups, right? And these are the rest. Now, You've been handed a cup out of the heavens and you're looking up there like, is that for me? 
I wonder, is that for me? The, and the universe is trying to fucking give you the motherfucking cup, but you're daydreaming. And this doesn't matter if you're a, 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 a Aries, Virgo, Sagittarius, man or woman. This could be for you. Just swap it how you need to fucking swap it, right? With you and your person. Or if you're single, like the Ace of Pentacles says, because a lot of you are single, it, it's just you reading. It's just your reading of this card. But if you have a person, then swap it how you need to swap it, okay? Let me put that back up there. So, yeah, you're looking like, duh, is this for me? What do I do? You know, and, and you got the rat, the little sneaky ass rat right there trying to get your goddamn cups while you looking up daydreaming, you know? So if you're going to look up there, take the fucking cup. If you're asking the universe to hand you something and the universe already did, take the fucking cup. Why are you daydreaming about it any longer? You know, then you come in as a fucking magician because now you gain control over your emotions, manifestations, your willpower. You have willpower. You have discipline. Now you have the manageability of the communication, the sword, right? The financial stability, the passion, right? The, the fire and the emotional, the, fit, the, the heart emotional maturity now to make decisions and take control of your motherfucking life like a motherfucking boss magician that's right so y'all got one two three major arcaders it's not bad so they're gonna happen the death the empress and the magician ain't shit you can do about it they're gonna fucking happen you can alter the minors but you cannot alter the major arcaders okay now you come in after you gain the magician, you come in with that happy home, right? That's that balanced home life. You got your house coming in. You got your cups. You're emotionally fulfilled. Everything you've invested in yourself and did is, is, is uh, abundant, is em giving you emotional fulfillment, happiness, right? So you have a little cat. You have a little house. The grass is green. You know, you're sitting there. You got the violet, the little rainbow the little rainbow, which means the pot of gold. So you have the abundance that you want. You have created and manifested the abundance that you want because you became the fucking badass boss magician. Oh, y'all, this is good. I love it. Now, now, when that happens, somebody feels like they're stabbed in the back. I don't know why. So this is you or your person or your ex person that's feeling like, well, damn, I'm not a part of it. You know, why aren't I a part of it? If you're in a relationship, you know, you're feeling like you're pressured and face down, like you're not really getting anywhere, but you are getting somewhere, you know, and these swords are like, uh, betray, not betrayal. These swords are like, uh, defeat or like, um, uh, having a, uh, be pinned down, you know, face down, uh, stabbed in the back. And this could be uh, friends or family. This could be um, people you work with because communication is on a job also too. So you got to look at communication like, is this somebody on my work trying to set me up, right? Or looking at your actions to make sure your actions line up with your words and your deeds. So this is a lot going on with this portrayal, with this uh, stabbed in the back picture, because it can be uh, uh, geared toward work in the workplace because of the communication is, you know, the action part. And we're talking about love and money. So you could be feeling betrayal seeping back in from like you don't deserve this happiness, you know, from the broken heart, or you could be feeling like this with the pinnacle being given to you like you're feeling like i don't deserve it don't fucking feel like that that's the answer then once you do the page of pinnacle comes in and this is the new love that the ace of pinnacle brings in for you rick a suave number two three baby look at him flashing his pinnacle and when he step up in the room in the building baby in the building he gonna look at you like mm, i got your pinnacle right here baby what you want? Small, medium, or large. Have it your way. Mm. Girl, child, honey, child, hush. 
hush your mouth. The page of pentacles. Remember, I told you they was young, and they could be moving fast and insecure. So you got someone coming in, bringing you, you know, a message of opportunity or or something that is in a business aspect that you can build something with, right? And build that financial stability. Somebody's gonna be bringing you that goddamn pinnacle, baby. And he gonna be looking motherfucking good too. And smelling good and looking good and looking clean and smelling clean, baby. Like a fresh, whew, breath of fresh air, baby. Y'all don't hear me though. Y'all better watch it. Y'all better holler at your girl cause I'm telling y'all what's finna go the fuck down. And he got that peacock. And watch what he do with that peacock when that peacock said and them wings come out and that peacock just pridefully switch around shashaying what the heck they got boastful with his shit like confident with his shit so that's what i'm saying he coming then uh, somebody crying over spoiled milk i don't know what this what this this mick this mick miss wait a minute this is two messages. That's why. I'm trying to figure out why y'all keep jumping fucking back and forth like this in this reading. And it's because I did all three of y'all together that some some of y'all are single. And the ones that's bouncing back and forth are not for y'all. The ones that's bouncing back and forth are for other people that are have a person. And the person is going to be jealous because they moved on or because they got all this coming in. And they're going to feel sorry and regretful or remorseful about however they treated you, right? So this is like your old person, your new person coming in. And if you're single, your new person coming in type of shit. So it's more than one story here, you know, with these last, with these last three cards, with these last three cards, that's like two fucking stories. The happy, okay, see the happy ending? with that page and the happy home and then you see these two stabbed in the back so either that's you feeling sorry for yourself like you don't deserve it that's your person feeling this this sad pitiful pathetic stabbed in the pack back way because you went and got your shit on your fucking own or if you're single this happiness is coming in the new opportunities this page is bringing the new opportunity that ace that ace of pinnacle is bringing for you to have success and abundance and uh, new uh, financial opportunities and new love and stuff coming in, right? With the pinnacle that you beat yourself up about it, like cry over spilled milk or this is your person doing this, feeling like, damn, I'm left out because you doing all this shit by yourself. You can't wait on motherfuckers forever, y'all. You got to get your fucking pinnacles. That's your financial stability. And if you don't build your financial stability for yourself, waiting on a motherfucker to do it ain't gonna fucking get it. Go get the motherfucker yourself if that's what the fuck it takes. Then you don't have to settle for the fuckery or the fucking bullshit in your life, right? Because you got balance, you got you got financial stability in yourself, right? So this kind of two different fucking stories going on, which is a good reading for you guys, for Virgo, uh, Aries, and Sagittarius on your love and money. So you got both coming in, you know, in the next, within the next, you know, three months, you got it coming in. Just be patient and work on yourself and see, you're going to be doing a collaboration. And that's what I said before I even looked under it because I hadn't even looked under it since I started the reading. So you're going to be doing some type of work with somebody in the workplace or somebody, some type of work that's going to bring in these pinnacles, you're going to be working with somebody on something, some project. Okay. So just know that it's fucking coming. It's coming. It is coming. So any more advice, spirit, source, energy. Oh, Lord. Okay. I don't want to take these or two. Oh, gosh. Oh, yes. Yeah. Y'all got it. Y'all got it. Oh, these books. I'm sitting on these books, y'all. There's my twin. Wait a minute. No, there's a red hot message just coming in. He's coming in hot. The Knight of the Knight of Wands is coming in with a lot of passion. So that page, baby, that page is coming in. That new person is coming in fucking hot. Like he going to be so sexy, so hot for you. Just going to be just trying to love you and throw all that passionate wand on your ass. So you better, you better use some birth control. 
if you don't want no babies because uh i'm saying venus because the empress she like venus to me because she's fertility love the high priestess all that energy is in there in the empress right so that's that feminine energy baby you better use something is all i got to say because the shit coming in hot and it's coming in motherfucking good and passionate and hot y'all heard it that's all i'm saying and look the 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 page the king of cups or the king of pentacles or this page that comes in for you who can handle his motherfucking business baby he has so much balance on the ground he's so grounded when it comes to money you're not going to be wasting a motherfucking thing you're going to be building this motherfucking house on the fucking Perry, motherfuckers. You're going to have a little house on the motherfucking Perry with his ass because your shit going to be on fucking 10. Your investments, what you're doing with your money, you're going to have a plan with what you're doing with your money. You're going to have balance and see, that's what's going to create that fucking rainbow. And you already had the fucking rainbow twice. So you're going to have double fucking luck because you got two fucking rainbows in the picture. See that green? See that motherfucking gold? Or fire or orange? Baby, that represents the sun. So the green and the gold, motherfuckers, we're the ace of pentacle. The green and the motherfucking gold is coming the fuck in. The cash dollars and the fucking gold motherfucking coins. You best believe it. Virgo, Aries, Sagittarius, y'all ass is fin to hit the motherfucking jack fucking pot. Tell me. That ain't no badass reading. And look at the page. Mm-hmm. Bringing it in, baby. Bringing it in. I only picked up those two because I didn't need to pick up no other ones. I only picked up the ones that were facing up at me. Y'all shit on 10. Now let's ask the Spirit Source Energy. What advice do they have for you on this reading? Ver uh, Aries, Virgo, and Sagittarius own love and money. Spirit Source Energy. Thank you. What advice do you have for... Virgo, Sagittarius, and Aries on this fucking reading. Yeah, I said it. It's still gonna happen. They, oh Lord, oh Lord. We ain't gonna take all them. I'm just gonna take the ones that's sitting up. You got reflection. Can you feel me? Divine balance. I'm gonna slide off these damn books. My desk is too damn high. Okay, all right. Uh-oh, let's see, we got some more. Damn, I ain't wanna read all these. You gotta speak your truth, joy, good news, intuition, and remembrance. So we're gonna take the first three. I just wanted to show y'all what the other ones were. So, reflection, mm-hmm. Reflect upon the bless and be great. Be grateful for all the beautiful times in your life. Give thanks for the many blessings you receive each day. You can you can connect energetically energetically to those you love. Simply feel them inside your heart. Life is beautiful. Beautiful. Can you feel me? Can you feel me? Can you feel me? Ain't that Michael Jackson or something? That little damn hymn, that little book. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Mm-hmm. See there? Your feminine aspect is awakening. Feel the goddess energy inside you. The empress, remember. She seeks acknowledgement and validation. New energies, insights, and opportunities are emerging. Your ace of fucking pinnacles, like I fucking said. So wake up, embrace, and celebrate. Y'all got it. Y'all got this shit? And then balance the sun? What? What don't y'all understand about this reading? What don't y'all understand? Balance is when you get the fucking magician, the willpower, the discipline. Aries, Virgo, Sagittarius, y'all fucking got it. Balance all is perfect just the way it is. Own and acknowledge every part of your of you and you will find the balance you are seeking. Y'all got it. It's a it's a wrap. It's done, da da done done, fucking done. That's right. Yep, y'all got it. It's coming within three months. Y'all it's coming. Y'all stick to working on what y'all gotta work on and building 
on what this says, it's no reason that it can't come unless you change the, the minor archaeas uh, in what you do. And that changes the result. But the, 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 uh, the, the major archaeas are set. You can't do anything about that death card, that magician card, or that empress card. That's going to do, they're going to do all the fucking work and they're going to guide you from, you know, your ancestors, your spirit guides, your source energy, your spirit, whoever your God is, is going to guide you. So you can't do anything about those. And who was the fourth one? Uh, it was four, wasn't it? I can't remember who. Shit. Empress Magician. Oh, death. Is that it? That was it, wasn't it? Yeah, that was it. So you had three. You can't do anything about these three if that's correct. Nothing. Nothing. You can't do shit about these. They're going to fucking happen. Now, the other ones, you can, you can fuck those up or you can do what they say and work on yourself so that that shit happens the way it's supposed to happen. Okay? You can't alter from it. Cause it's giving you how to, how to get there, right? It's giving you the game plan on how to get there and how to manifest it, right? Cause you have the, 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 uh, magician helping you. Okay. The willpower, the discipline to help you. Right. So heal that broken heart, move ahead, you know, do what you got to do. Thank you guys for responding. My, my Aries, Virgo and Sagittarius, IG, uh, social media. Thank y'all for responding. Um, I was happy to do it. Hit, hit your girl up. You know, my services are down below in the description box. So if you have any questions, inbox me or email me. Um, we're moving ahead, creating multiple streams of income. That's where we at babies. If y'all want this money, create your fucking multiple streams of income is where it's at. Cause you're not going to get it from one job. You're not, unless they paying you high end and now they're laying off shit. So they ain't paying nobody shit. So you're going to have to have another stream of income coming in like seven to 14 of them motherfuckers, to be honest with you, because you never know. You can never fucking know. You know, with these motherfuckers, you never know. You just never know. So uh, thank you for watching, subscribing, like, commenting, hitting that notification button for me and telling your friends and family this month only April. My birthday is April 20th. I'm giving five dollar tarot readings. Hit your girl up and get your damn personal ass one question, tarot reading for $5, okay? I want to see y'all in my inbox. And you know what your girls say, peace, love, and harmony.